Hello and welcome to your Astrology and Spirituality Overview for Monday the 18th of May. Alisa, what cards have you chosen today? Today we're using the Tarot de Marcel cards, which are the cards that you have on your website, the Tarot cards. It's really classic, very rich colours. Yes, I absolutely love I love the historical it. sort of feel yes. of this. Oh, okay, oh. we have one sticking out. So oh. the card that comes out here is the Ten of Swords. Not the happiest card to come out in a deck, really. But there is a positive to it. So the Ten of Swords is very much about us feeling um, overwhelmed, about us feeling drained, almost like we've had a big battle on our hands and we're just sort of lying on the ground exhausted. But it's the end of a cycle. Ten is the end of a cycle. So it's like we're at the end of a, of a difficult situation when this card comes up. Now, it's interesting because today we have one really tricky influence, which is... Venus in retrograde continuing to square with Neptune. So maybe the, the Ten of Swords is about something to do with a relationship that has been very, very draining because we can't kind of get clarity because of the haziness of Neptune. And obviously Venus retrograde can make us more reflective about relationships. It can bring someone from our past back into our situation, which could provide some extra uncertainty. But uh, the paradox to that is the sun is actually forging in Taurus an amazing link to Jupiter, the planet of, of optimism. Now, we know Jupiter is tracking backwards now. We know it's not its best in Capricorn. But that does give us an opportunity to think that even if it has been a bit tough, things can change. Mm -hmm. And also our internal journey, because Taurus is very much to do with the kind of foundations and the material plane very often, but at a more spiritual level, it's to do with the foundations, our security, and that can change. We can still journey, even if not so much physically, mm -hmm. we can journey with inside ourselves. So we can move on from a tricky situation, especially if we have been feeling confused about this relationship. But I must add, Venus does, of course, continue to be retrograde for much of June, and also, uh, it is in square with Neptune for the rest of this week. Right, so yeah, a bit, a bit, bit of a tricky start to the week with that, but nothing that I don't feel that we can um, work through. Yeah, and Jupiter is about hope. It is about mm -hmm. expansion. It is about learning. And even if the lessons have to be learned at a more personal level rather than a more physical level, like enjoying moving around in the world and being more adventurous physically, we can still grow within ourselves. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for that. And thank you thank for you. joining us here today. Absolutely. I just want to say um, a special thank you as well to our Patreons who um, we really, really are so grateful. And if you would like to become a Patreon yourself um, and you're not already, then I will leave that uh, information in the description box beneath this video. Yeah, and this does uh, enable you to get extra information from mm -hmm. us um, based on the different tiers that there are. But, of course, if you want your free daily horoscope, that's underneath this, uh, this uh, video too. And also, you can click on our free uh, tarot reading, which is a three-card reading, and it's really, really good, uh, even if I say so myself. <laughs> it is really good. We use it ourselves, don't we? We do. A lot. Yeah. So, so, it is goodbye from... Me. <laughs> and it's goodbye from her. Goodbye. Goodbye.